occupancy has also established a special office to look into the damage to banks and other financial institutions. This is live footage of Sendai, northern Japan. You're seeing a fire breaking out of a rather high-rise condominium building. This is live footage as we speak, fire breaking out after the 7 point, magnitude 7.9 earthquake hitting northern Japan. This is from our NHK helicopter reporter covering live footage of uh, obviously a condominium building that's on fire in Sendai, northern Japan, in Miyagi Prefecture. In Miyagi Prefecture, the intensity was 7 point, a magnitude 7.9, and that's exactly where that fire is occurring at this time. We're trying to get more information in regards to the extent of the damage. Our helicopters are going from one region to another, just trying to cover in regards to what kind of damages have been occurring so far. Here's live coverage of Iwate Prefecture in Kamaishi City, where a tsunami has engulfed several cars, trucks, and boats right along the coast. We're no longer hearing the emergency broadcast going off in that city, but obviously tsunamis can hit several times, and there are warnings to stay away from the coast for those of you that are near coastal waters. And to in those that who are, those of you who are in the coastal areas to immediately evacuate to higher ground. And this is a look at uh, Kesen Numa and Miyagi Prefecture where the earthquake hit the hardest. You're obviously seeing water seeping right through that public parking lot. We cannot tell whether this was due to a tsunami right now, but as we can see, we are definitely seeing some aftershocks still being felt in Kesenuma in Miyagi City, northern Japan. Water, Miyagi Prefecture, northern Japan. Water obviously seeping right through that public parking lot. And it looks like it is due to the tsunami. You can see debris already flowing right through that parking lot in Kesenuma City, Miyagi Prefecture. Once again, major earthquake hitting Japan on Friday afternoon. Japan's Meteorological Agency says measured 7.9 magnitude. The agency has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific, sea, Pacific coast. You can see live coverage of what the tsunami is doing right now in Kesenuma City, Miyagi Prefecture. Here's live coverage of Tokyo. It looks like more people are evacuating outside of office buildings. This is, af of course, after uh, a strong earthquake has hit Japan Friday afternoon. Japan's meteorological sa agency says the quake measured magnitude 7.9 about one hour ago. Local time about 2.46 or 14.46 military time, local time here in Japan. 7.9 magnitude earthquake hitting Japan. Live shots from downtown Tokyo in the Shibuya area. We are seeing many people lining up uh, at pay phones. During an earthquake, usually uh, the mobile phones becoming, become very difficult to use as it, uh, the system uh, gets jammed with everybody trying to call uh, either their homes or relatives just to, just to notify that they are safe. People lining up in front of public phones so that they will be able to get in touch with those that they need to uh, say that they are safe. Live footage of Kesen Numa in the city in Miyagi Prefecture, where a magnitude 7.9 and the intensity of seven was recorded on a Japanese seismic scale. Obviously, the tsunami is seeping right through the uh, public parking uh, uh, structure that we, we're seeing right here in Kesenuma City in Miyagi Prefecture, 
northern Japan. Miyagi Prefecture in northern Japan had, was hit the hardest with the intensity of 7 that was recorded on Japan's uh, seismic scale of 027. News developing as we speak. The situation obviously very fluid. This is just new. And this is just in Japan's foreign minister, Takeaki Matsumoto, has ordered his officials to start preparing to accept foreign assistance. He has also told them to check on the safety of foreign residents living here in Japan. Once again, Japan's foreign minister, Takeaki Matsumoto, has ordered his officials to start preparing to accept foreign assistance. He has also told them to check on the safety of foreigners living in Japan. Prime Minister Naoto Kan and his cabinet ministers have gathered at the Prime Minister's office where an emergency task force has been set up to respond to the earthquake. The task force will gather information on damage and prepare for a possible tsunami. Train operations are also suspended in northeastern Japan as well as in Tokyo where railway companies are checking the safety of the lines. For those of you who have just tuned in to NHK World, you're seeing live coverage of Kesen Numa City in Miyagi Prefecture. Obviously, it's tsunami engulfing a uh, public parking space. Okay. We're going to show you some interviews that we were able to get in the streets of Tokyo. Okay. <laughs> こんな大きい揺れ初めてだったんです。すごい怖かったです。なんかパンクしたみたいな感じの揺れでですね。あの、ま、コンクリートが落ちてきてっていう感じですね。コンクリートどこですか?あの、防熱塔をちょっと凹
that the tsunami could reach between 6 and 10 meters. Earlier we showed you footage of what happened in some areas in northern Japan where trucks, cars and some boats have been swept away from the tsunami. You're looking at live footage of downtown Tokyo where people are outside of the buildings, evacuating outside of the buildings. You can see some people lining up, and they're lining up so that they can call on public phones. Obviously, mobile phones not operating at this time as people call all at uh, simultaneously at one time. Uh, mobile phone companies not able to handle the amount of calls that's, that are going out. People turning to public phones uh, for communication at this time. You are seeing live footage of the situation outside of our studios in Tokyo. This is coverage of... This is live coverage of a tsunami. This is a river of Miyagi Prefecture. A river along Miyagi Prefecture. This is the riv river going up in Miyagi Prefecture from, from the sea. Live coverage of a river in Miyagi Prefecture. Tsunami obviously hitting water going upwards towards the river. This is from our camera reporter in Miyagi. And it looks and it looks like the tsunami has engulfed several cities in Miyagi Prefecture. Live footage of Miyagi as the tsunami has struck the area obviously engulfing farms, homes, alongside the river. In Sendai City, this is, in Miyagi Prefecture, tsunami, live coverage of tsunami engulfing the city in Sendai. For those of you who, that, who have just tuned in to NHK World, you're seeing live coverage from our helicopters of a tsunami engulfing Sendai area in Miyagi Prefecture. This is after a major earthquake hitting Japan Friday afternoon. Japan's meteorological agency saying the quake measured 7.9. Live coverage of Miyagi Prefecture, Sendai area, where a tsunami is engulfing the area. This is live coverage from our helicopter, NHK helicopters, and we're back to coverage of Tokyo. People waiting outside so that they are able to get to a nearby uh, public phone. Obviously, mobile phones not working at this time as everybody tries to call at one time and it uh, becomes an overload to the system for the, for the mobile phone operators. People waiting in line so that uh, they can call using public phone. Okay, there was a revision that the quake was a magnitude 8.4. The magnitude, there's a revision in regards to the magnitude, it was the magnitude 8.4. Many people having serious trouble communicating with their families, members and friends with their cell phones in the wake of the quake. In some areas, the speed of internet communication has been slow. Japan's communications giant NTT has created special headquarters to check the damage situation. You're seeing live coverage of downtown Tokyo, people waiting. There's a lot of uh, trouble communicating with family members and friends. We are feeling aftershocks still in the studio as we speak. The magnitude has been re revised to 8.4. A magnitude 8.4, a major earthquake has hit Japan on Friday afternoon, about an hour, a little bit more than an hour ago. This is the st how our studios look like right now. We see, we feel a bit of a shake, a bit of the aftershocks. A major earthquake has hit Japan on Friday afternoon. Japan's meteorological agency has revised the strength of the earthquake. Magnitude 8.4. Tsunami hitting Miyagi Prefecture with this live coverage from our, from our helicopters in the Sendai area where tsunami has engulfed part of the region. It has washed away houses and farms. Live coverage of Miyagi Prefecture in the Sendai area. 
Hold on. 